Look at the screen. Oh my goodness. All right. We got a double. Wow. That's the, that's the one we want right there. This is, this is why we switched the eels. Bro, that is a nice eel fish on the Brighton Bay. TOS float. Old Good school, job. baby. Well, those are smaller, but a couple of them look nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bring him in. Finally hooked up. It's a baby. It's a baby. Good mark. I want to see a school look at it. Oh yeah. Wow, these are big marks here. These aren't what we saw earlier. Our start marks some bigger ones. That a little more, we can put a full spread of yields and stay right in here. Yeah, mm, I wonder if we should. You want to put the yields out, Tommy? It's nice now. Should we do it? All oh, cap. Is it 120? Oh, I'm thinking. All right, we just got out here, and what we're doing is we're scouting, we're looking for fish. Uh, we immediately marked some good fish on the screen, so we put the spoons out and we're trolling right now. So we're trolling some spoons. We're doing a spoon uh, mojo combo. No wire leader, nothing like that, no wire line. Just a mojo, 24 ounce mojo to keep the spoon down. A medium sized spoon, not real big spoons. We caught some small fish and we're marking a lot of small fish. Giant schools, but nothing big. The big fish that we're marking are isolated, so. We're probably going to go ahead and make the switch over to eels. I like to scout around trolling, you know, see what we see. And uh, rather go to eels, you know, we catch bigger fish on eels. So I think we're going to go ahead and make the switch, try to catch those isolated fish on those eels. That's how we usually start, you know, start by trolling and looking. And then if we can switch to eels and if the wind lays down, that's what we do. So we'll see what we do there. We'll see, what we, see what we can do. Oh my goodness, look at the fish we're marking around us. Fish, fish everywhere, man. Look at the screen. Look at that screen. Look at that screen. Jesus. Oh my God. You gotta see the screen. Nah, that, all right, that's fine. No weight's good. We're going to put floats. That one? Yeah. And sometimes you'll see him actually come up and smash the board. He'll be attracted to the board, you know? In that case, we'll put it two feet behind the board. All right. Hold on to it right there for one second. I'll get, let me get this one going. Fish on, fish on, fish on, right here. Crank, 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 crank. <laughs> fish on, fish on. All right, you just got that one out. Now you're reeling it back in. What's going on? Right, we, just had, we just had three hits here. Look at the screen. 
Oh my goodness! Holy cow! Is that a little better fish? I believe it Seems is. to be. I believe it is. Alright, now I'm going to use the trolling motor here to keep that fish under control for him. So we can keep the rest of our lines out because if uh, Tommy, give a couple cranks on that rod right next to you. Yeah. Boys, this is nuts. This is absolute nuts. All right, so we got our eels out. We got boards and floats, planer boards, and we got our ready rig TOS floats, eels. We got split shots on some, no weight on others. There's a screamer. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, come get it, baby. <laughs> All right, we got a double. Wow, that drag is right. Back that drag just down to the cliff. All right, well, <laughs> eight lines out. We just had two other ones on. One just came off. Tommy had one on a jig. They were breaking in front of us. Yeah, tighten it a little bit. Tighten it, tighten it. You had the right idea. All right. Let's see. Can we do it? I got to admit, it was a frustrating day. We've been marking these fish for a couple hours and only catching one. Ooh, loosen that drag just a, just a real, just a hair by the boat. Joe, you know we lose our stretch, right? When we get it close. We lose our stretch, so we want to... Uh, Back off our drag just a touch if we need to. I got half a net here. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Oh, this one just got screened. There was just a fish on this one. I guess it's a, I guess it's a good thing it came off. I guess it's a good thing it popped. <laughs> His fish is bigger than yours. His fish is a lot bigger. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a haul. You're doing fine. Don't you do anything different? That's the that's the one we want right there. This is folks. This is why we switched the eels. This is why we put the trolling away. Get them to me. I got a short net here and a camera in my hand. There we go. Oh, Woo! Oh baby. <laughs> you gotta lift. Oh, oh baby. That's a fatty. Woo! Oh. Thirty pounder right there, buddy. Woo! <laughs> Good job, Joe. Team old school. Thank nice. you for bringing me out. Oh, man. Anytime, bro. You're a good boy. You're letting 45 inches go. You can come on my boat anytime you want. Let's catch another one. Oh, baby. This is why we do eels, oh, man. Baby. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. All right. Let's get another one. What you got there, Tommy? Tommy's got the That's french fries. What doing out here? Joe got him a steak. Woo! There you go. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. We're trying to avoid the gills at all costs, just do the lips. <laughs> get nice and close, get nice and close. Look at the screen out here, guys. All right, stick around. Bro, that is a nice eel fish on the Raritan Bay. TOS float. Good Old school, job, baby. Good job, brother. Let's let him go. All right, let's do this. Okay. Good. Yep, you got the grip. You got it. Good. Hold it right in the water right here, and we'll revive her. It's probably about 30 pound fish. Just hold her head. We're already moving forward. I'm not sure if we have a line left in the water. We do. We got one. Two. You sure we have two? One, two. No, this one's tripped. We're down to one. There was a fish on this one too. All right, you see, Joe was pulling this along with the boga grip for uh, just about five minutes. She's kicking good, so he's going to release her. Just pull it forward and release. Good hard. Right I gotta down. say, that's this one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. Right? Right, that, right back down. Going right there. Good job. Let her brother. go, let her grow. Good job. Good job, bro. Awesome. Look at that. Thank you, gentlemen. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> Oh, here we go. Nice. Crank, 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 crank. Just crank back. That's it. Crank, crank, crank. We busted our butts to find it. We found it, and I'm not going to lie. We were having a hard time getting in the bite. We got one trolling, got one on an eel. Had one on a jig that came off. I think we may have it dialed in finally. Let's see 
less than huge. And another uh, in that 10 pound range. Wanna grab that fish? Yeah, there, grab it. Well, you got the net in your hand, go ahead and know. Alright, 10 pound fish. What we did is we came out and we scattered around and uh, found fish right away, luckily, on side scan. Started trolling the old combo, you know, the spoon and mojo. Caught a couple uh, small fish, less than 10 pounds. So we only like to troll really until the uh, sun starts to go down a bit and we can switch over to eels or some kind of live bait, unless it's super rough, then we stay trolling. So we went ahead and put the boards out and the eels and we got into a mess of fish out here. Fish on, fish on. Here, here, here. Your first pointer board fish? It is. Joe was fishing with us today because he was out and they released a 42 inch fish the other day. Is that what it was? Yeah, 45. 45 inch fish, that's all right. Whether you want it or not, you're gonna fish with us today. He stuck with us. All about it. And uh, there you go. He's not huge, but he's a he's a striper. Swing him to me. Yeah, just put it around. No, 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 over here, Tommy. In the right holder it was in. Yeah. Good fish. All right. All right. Beauty. I like it. It's a good deal, fish. There she goes. There she goes. Nuggets. Like, like a happy. Boy. Let her go, let her grow. Yeah. I gotta tell you, man, we first came out here, we marked fish right away, and I thought it was gonna be lights out the whole time. I think we all did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got some, some, started trolling, you know, put the hardware down and went right through a, just a massive amount of fish and nothing. You know, sped up a little bit, slowed down a little bit, changed colors, put them deeper, put them shallower, and they wouldn't touch. We started casting at them, throwing some jigs and swim baits, and wouldn't touch it. And it wasn't a giant fleet out here today. There's probably a dozen boats and it looked like it was a lot of the same guys all around it, but they just wouldn't touch it. Finally, we got one trolling and we got one, uh, uh, I think we had one on a jig that came off. I'm not sure. I know we had one trolling. We said, let's put the eels out. That's ultimately, ultimately what we want to do. We want to pull eels. We want to pull a spread of live bait for the bigger fish. Uh, the reason we start trolling first is just because we need to scout a little bit. It's usually rougher in the middle of the day. And it's just easier to troll with a little chop on the water. So, trolled, looked around, found fish. Fortunately, couldn't get in the bite. Went to the eels early, got one on the eel right away, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 just all over the place, two at a time. And rods popping off in a rod holder, and we can't quite get the hook set on them. And I mean, it's just, just beautiful. Same fish, we haven't moved. We're just working the same area. It's just a presentation of an eel with no weight. You know, on a free line, it's hard to beat. And we're the only boat out here now. You know, I'm sure the guys were getting frustrated like we were and went in, but eels have saved the day, you know. Probably why we use them so much. It's a cutie. Adorable, give him a lick, Max. In your 70s outfit. <laughs> 1970s, Max.